Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we have a budget mining rig build. Of course nothing involving GPUs can be called budget these days, but the rig was built from used parts, either old gaming PC or rig parts, so I thought this could be interesting for you. Everything can be a mining rig and this one is not for me by the way, but for a new miner. Let's go over the parts. The motherboard is old, Z87, <laughs> and the chip itself might actually still be an okay mid-tier gaming CPU, a 4th gen i7. If this would be normal times without shortages in bull markets, I would say build a PC with that, sell it and build a dedicated mining rig. But looking at motherboard prices nowadays, especially everything to do with mining, I think it's a good approach to use what you have. And indeed, Ryzen owners have a bit of an advantage here, as these chips can still earn a bit on different algos. That's the base and slots for more GPUs than we'll have today, but with everything today we keep expandability in mind. Same goes for the PSU, the only part which was bought new. I'll link you my video on how to power mining rigs above. Today we went the ATX route. This is a Silverstone 1200 watts, way too much power, but again one can add more cards. Speaking of GPUs, this will become a used Nvidia card mashup. We're talking about one GTX 1060, a 1070 and one RTX 2070. Unfortunately, we left the strongest card out. There was a Zotec 3090 in the bunch, but we tested it before in a Windows PC and after seeing those memory temperatures, I personally recommend it to the owner to either do the thermal pad modding like we did or use it underclocked in a PC, not necessarily stuck to other mining GPUs in a rig. I was afraid it just would get cooked and die in the midterm. It was similar to my FE edition without modding. I'll link you all those videos above. So maybe also one of the reasons why budget, but also efficient in terms of pricing. All GPUs and parts except the PSU use. It can still chug along and mine ETH for as long as it can. I would not pay very high scalper prices for 10 series cards anymore, but if they are at a reasonable price, I personally still think they can easily return their investment this year. The 2070 is a stronger card, but even though this one was a Strix, it did not like overclock too much. More the hash rate in the end. That is almost all you need for a mining rig. A baseboard, whatever it is, same for the CPU. It can be as weak as a Celeron processor. And RAM can be as low as 4GB, but I would go for 8GB just for stability and because it does not cost much. Then your PSU choice and risers. As those came from me, I have to be honest, I did not want to give up my value GPU risers.com ones. We went for Molex on connecting here and we had to change some things around in the end because one of my other risers was not working. So one tip here, always keep a few spares on hand. I also gave some to my colleague just to be safe. If something goes wrong hardware wise with your rig, it is very often the riser first. Then there is just your choice of frame or case and here possibilities are huge. We had videos on both the open air style as well as the closed server style on the channel. This really depends on your preference and your location. Also of course if you're more talented than me you can easily build a frame yourself. Today we went for open air. The frame came from me actually and it was the very first frame I ever bought. I think it was 20 bucks or something in China. Oh and besides that, depending on your motherboard you might need a power button, they cost maybe a buck. This board Z87 actually had an onboard power switch, which is nice for such an old board. After everything is in the frame and cabled up, it's time for the operating system of choice. The easiest plug and play way is still HiveOS for me, I still use and like it to this day. Also here we went for it. I personally never use anything bigger than an 8GB USB stick for Hive. No SSD or M.2. I heard that some other people encounter problems with sticks sometimes, but to be honest I maybe have one issue per year. That's okay. All in all that was a quick build and setup. We ended up around 90 MHz a second, but I feel there would still be more to get out of it. For that one would need to sit down and do some tweaking and testing. 
For now, stability was important and to get my colleague mining. So a small starter rig without much cost done. Even though these are no monster numbers in terms of hash rate, I still think this can return the investment easily. And what I forgot to mention is that my colleague is running on solar anyway. So no real maintenance costs for him and he can still expand. That's it, a mining rig quick build out of used parts. Let me know what your first mining rig was, an old gaming PC or a custom build. I hope you enjoyed a different kind of video last week. It was more related to DeFi and crypto than hardware. Let me know what you think. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.